on a journey. That's right. We're on a journey. Look around at your neighbor. There's any not a person in here that their journey is the same. Your journey is different than my journey. Nobody has my journey. You have yours. But our journey is leading to one place. See, when you was put on this earth, you was put here for one thing and one thing only. And that was to serve God. If you've got anything in your mouth, in your mind, that you think you were put here on this earth for, if you thought you were put here to be the President of the United States, you may be, but your journey is to serve God. Amen. Amen. You know, I feel like we're holding back here tonight. Yes. I feel like we're holding back. I feel like we're holding back. Yeah. Let's loosen this thing up. Let's begin to worship God. Yeah. Let's begin to tell Him how much we love Him. Let's begin to give Him a praise. Yeah. Let's begin to tell Him, God, we love You because You placed us yeah. on this earth. You, you didn't have to be placed on this earth. That spirit could have went somewhere else, but He came to You. Hallelujah. Tonight, I want y'all to give Brother Jeff your attention. We're going to turn Brother Jeff to the in a minute. I want you to pray, right? And I'm going to ask you, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to ask you to pray for. I want you to pray that the Spirit of God will come into this place with the greatest anointing that you've ever seen. You say, God, I want the anointing of the Holy Ghost to come into this place. I want everybody right now to say, God, I want the anointing to come into this building tonight. I want the anointing of the Holy Ghost to come in. I want you to take the complete the Lord. your attention tonight. He came here to bless us. He came here to deliver the word of the Lord. Yes. Pray for him. Give him your backing. Don't leave his hand up here. Whenever he makes a good comment on about the Lord, you let him know by saying amen and praise the Lord. Or jump up and shout and run. Do something. Hallelujah. At this time, I want to turn this over to Brother Jeff Carter. Everybody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I feel like what the pastor said. Some is drawing back yeah. <laughs> and not wanting to move and enter in to where God wants His people to be. See, there is a place that we can get in God that the anointing can be on us so strong that when we walk by people, they'll receive their healing. Amen. That's right. Amen. 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 Somebody said, I don't believe that. But I do. To the yeah. book. Amen. It happened back then. It can happen yes. today. That's right. book of Hebrews said Jesus Christ is same. same. Yesterday, yesterday, today, and Yesterday, forever. today, and forever. And forevermore. Amen. There's no changing in God. Nope. The changing is in you and me. That's right. We kind of deviate from where the presence of God wants us to be. That's right. And I say this ain't my service. It's, it's God's service. That's right. that's right. Whatever He wants, that's what I want. Hey, I've been in them. My wife can tell you we've been in services 
where I couldn't open my Bible and preach the power of God would be so strong people would be getting healed and slayed by the power of God. How many is ready to see the anointing yes. move like a major like you've never yes. seen before? Amen. Are you ready for it? Amen. Yeah. Come on. I don't hear you. Are you ready for it? Amen. 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 You got your Bibles tonight. Go with us. Psalms 126. And begin to read verse 5. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. <coughs> yes. Psalms 126 and verse 5. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. I like to preach a message like this in Tatooine. Your joy comes in the morning. Yes. Come on. Come on, church. Come on. Regardless of the circumstances, regardless of the crisis and the things that you might be going with down here, God never did change His plan. No, He didn't. He's the same God that fell on the day of Pentecost. Yeah, come on now. It's the same one. It's the same anointing. Amen. And He wants to fill His people to run over with joy. Yeah. Come on. With joy. Joy. With joy. Yeah. But sometimes, oh, I feel the Lord of the Holy Ghost coming. Sometimes we uh, carry hurt feelings with inside of us. Yeah. And we begin to uh, let that destroy us uh, and let that kill us uh, and let that eat at us. Uh, come on, church. Come on now. Come on. Come on. <coughs> and you sit around and you cry and you say, Oh Lord, how come you don't help me? <laughs> but God told me to tell you, Amen, that the joy is just right around the corner. Yes. 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 Come on now. <coughs> Your victory is just about around the corner. Right. Yeah. Amen. Last night. I went through a crisis. Amen. My wife can tell you, after I talked to the pastor, he said, have a message ready. And I was feeling good. He can tell you I was feeling good. Yeah. I sat up a while, I was watching some of that uh, geographic on TV. And then I went to bed. And I couldn't breathe. I mean, it was like my wind that was shut off. I told my wife, I said, call all the prayer warriors. Yeah. Let's pray. Yeah. Let's pray. Before this even happened, two weeks prior to that, my wife got up one morning and she seen two angels that was on the right and on the left. Hand to me, Brother Oscar. I believe these angels God sent to fight that devil Amen. and to put him in his place. Right. Yeah. Because the Bible said yeah. the yeah. angels of the Lord yeah. are cast the battle right. Yeah. The righteous. Yeah. Let me tell you, God is going to take care of his people. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. Regardless of the circumstance. Amen. Regardless of what you be going through, yeah, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Did you know you can speak life or death in the tongue? What you speak in a coming existence. Always like using this illustration. Kind of reminds me of this man went to the eye doctor one day. The eye doctor began to examine his eyes and he said, I find nothing wrong with you. He said, You got 
good eyes. He said, Doctor, you don't understand. I can't see. He said, I don't even know what kind of shirt you got on. That doctor said, huh. So he called in his nurse. He said, go out there and get me a pair of glasses with no lenses. So they brought them in, stuck them to his face. He said, I can see good now. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about, church? Amen. We want to lean sometime on self-pity. Yeah. We want to lean. We want somebody to make oh, feel sorry for that person. I don't. I know who can take care of them. Amen. That's right. Jesus Christ the same. Amen. He's the one that can deliver. He's the one that can set free. I'm telling you, there's nothing impossible that my God can do, but all things are possible to them that believe. He said in my name, you shall cast out devils. You shall speak in new tongues. Come on, church. I'm telling you, God wants His people to be joyful. He wants them to be healed. He wants them to be delivered Amen. and set free by the power and anointing of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Come on. That's right. Joy comes in the morning. Yeah. How I many has been praying for that joy? Yeah. Yes. David. Uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't know how it would feel. Poor Hezekiah one day, the old prophet came to Elijah, came to him and said, you better, you better set your house in order. Work, you're going to die. He said, you're going to die. Yeah. Huh? He said, you ain't going to live, man. God said, you're going to die. Well, he didn't get no self pity and say, I'm going to die. <laughs> Call in my family, I'm going to die. The Bible said Hezekiah began to pray. Yeah. And his prayers went up as a remorse unto God. God heard his prayer. Yeah. Church, let me tell you, God hears every prayer Amen. that you Amen. pray. Yeah. He sees every yeah. tear that yeah. you yeah. shed. Yeah. Right. He knows it. And He's keeping the record. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Most of y'all know how my wife shouts. She shouts like an Indian, don't she, brother? <laughs> We was at one church and she began, I don't know how many languages she spoke in, but that man know what she spoke in. He know German. He was in World War II and he understand what she said. Said God is the Messiah that he does say. All you got to do is call upon him Why he's near. Amen. Seek his face Why he is near. I'm telling you what happened Amen. That man, 90 some years old in California, got down on his knees, gave his heart to Jesus Christ. Yeah. And he Amen. said, Lord, yeah. if the Holy Ghost is real, what that woman's got, I want it. Amen. I want it. Amen. And he said, the next thing you know, he began to speak in a language that he couldn't control his tongue. Yeah, come on. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. God's still filling with the Holy Ghost. Yes, he is. I know they said, well, that one out with the early church, that don't exist no more. He's still doing it. Amen. He's still delivering. Amen. Has the cause more one up unto God? God heard his prayer. Amen. And I like what David said in Psalms 118 and verse 17. I shall not, 
uh, die but live and declare the word of the Lord. Yeah. I'm telling you, amen. He looked at Hezekiah. He said, you're not going to die. You're going to declare my word. Amen. I'm telling you, all you've got to do is speak the word and it'll come into existence in your life. That's right. Amen. Come on now. Oh, I hope I'm getting my point over tonight. Yeah, man, come on. Come on. Joy. 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 I gotta get out of this coop. I'm about to roast. <coughs> I'll be like, like a turkey here, maybe roast. <laughs> Amen. Joy comes in the morning. Amen. Y'all uh, sung a song tonight about the 23rd Psalms. Said, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Said, He maketh me to lay down in green pastures. Thank God I like them green pastures. Amen. And you know what? Down in green pastures, He does some restoration, He revives you. Amen. He gives you something that everybody said, I wish I had it. But they can have it. All they got to do is surrender to God. Amen. You have not because you ask not. Amen. See, Jesus, when He went about the city preaching, He couldn't go in His own town. He was a Nazarene. He couldn't go in there because of so much unbelief. That's right. They didn't want it. <clears throat> they didn't believe it. But God never did change His plan. That's right. He is a healer. That's right. He sent His Word and healed them and delivered them from their diseases. That's right. That's right. Who are you going to believe, man or God? There you go. Right. Oh, I'm trusting in the doctor. Well, go ahead and keep trusting in him. Next time you know, you're going to be at the morgue. Yeah. That's right. Now, you laugh at me all you want to. I'm telling you, amen, you're about the mercy of God when you go to the doctors nowadays. Because they'll always give you something to make you crazy. As a bat. I'm crazy enough. A little more if they give me something like that. Amen. Amen. <laughs> He's your <warrior. laughs> All right. Tell the truth, brother. Tell the truth, brother. I was watching on TV about this show that comes on the ER. I don't know where y'all watch it or not. But this man... Turn around and swallow coins. And it, it, it lawns right there. They got one coin out, but the other they couldn't get out. They told them that would have to take its course. And I forget what that coin was value. It was way up in the thousands of dollars. But I'm telling you, that man was hysterical. He was crazy. Man, I thought I was crazy, but he was really crazy. <laughs> So don't you swallow no corns. Uh -huh. Wanda hide all the money at the house. Don't let him... uh -huh. I, got, I like I like everything. Yeah, I, <laughs> I love Brother Oscar. Yeah. But how many is ready for the joy tonight? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Are you ready? I feel like tonight that God wanted to move like whenever I was getting drunk over here. Whoa. They asked me to go and pray over the prayer request. I got so drunk I fell back in the chair. Thank God it was a chair there, had not been cured. Well, we repair the whole floor. <laughs> then you had to fix the floor. <laughs> But God's good. Amen. He's good. All the time. He delivers. Yeah. We got this young lady, her, her husband. They they email me all the time. 
and she sent several emails in. Said, Brother Carter, there's a man in Missouri. Said he's got cancer. But said, most of all, he needs to know Jesus as his Savior. Amen. Said he needs to be acquainted with him. And he needs the blood applied to his heart. And I, I, I called her. I said, we'll pray. Me and my wife. And we prayed. And that man got saved. Yeah. Not only did he get saved, his cancer was healed. Amen. I'm telling you, when God does something, He does it complete. That's right. Yeah. He don't have to do a job. That's right. I was going to hang the door at my house. My wife said, you leave it alone until Brother Oscar gets here. <laughs> Said it'd be in there every which way but loose. <laughs> I'm not a carpenter. I ain't got that steel. But I tell you what I do got. I got the power of the Holy Ghost Amen. living down in my soul. And I want to share with everybody. Amen. I'm not a hog. I wanted to rub off on you and you and you and everybody in this building. Amen. To say the joy of the Lord. Is our strength. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to stay, and I want that brother to come on the piano. I don't know his name. He answered for me. Piano picker. Piano picker. That's right. That's my email. Piano well, forgive me, brother. Gmail.com. <laughs> and if you're ready, for the joy. If you are if you tired, if you tired, if you tired of the same old routine and the same old rut that you in, and you said, Preacher, I come tonight, I'm gonna get a hope of God, and the power of God is gonna saturate me from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Yeah. And I grant you. Do you know God don't never lie. His word don't come back a void. His word is true. His word is true. His word is life. His word guides. His word makes me. Do you know him today? 
Don't do nothing till I give the command. But he said, when I give the command, I want you to shout yes. with everything you got. Yes. I got one thing to say. I know there's not a soul in this building that don't need something from God tonight. So I don't That's know right. why everybody in this building is not up here getting prayed by. Right? Amen. 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 I tell you what, I'm 21 years old. I should be excited about going out. I'll tell you what, it's the most excited I've ever been. More excited about where I'm going. I've ever been about Everybody you in this building needs something. It's all free. All you gotta do is walk up here. Space the Lord. Space the Lord. There's people that need to touch your life. You gotta move. 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 Oh, my God. 
and you listen to the voice of the Lord because he's got something planned for you, young man. Amen. And it's mighty what the Lord has got planned for you. And when you come to that door, don't hesitate. That's right. You say, That's Lord, right. if you want me to go, I'm going. And you just walk in. Walk That's in right. boldly. Don't, walk, don't walk in meekly. <laughs> no. you got, you, God's on your side. That's it. That's all you got to remember. Amen. God is on, on your, your side. side. I want to thank Lord. God for something. Uh, a lot of y'all probably remember not me and Jeremy come up here. It's all <laughs> yes. Uh, God reunited me with the mother of my child. I didn't even know I had a blessing. Yes. Oh, praise, praise, praise God. God. Praise God. And, uh, oh, Lord Jesus. Coming up here, getting on my knees, and you know, asking God to come into my life. And give me mercy. I prayed and prayed and prayed many nights. For oh, something. hallelujah. I did not hallelujah. I, had to hallelujah. Watch hallelujah. This and I didn't know what it was. Yeah. And I had a blessing out there. I didn't even know what it was. Yes. Yeah. Thank God. God. Thank God. God. <coughs> Asked for mercy and he gave it to Oh, bless him, Jesus. Sing that song. Get that. Some of you women back there, get on that thing. I want. I want him to fight. Wanda. 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 Number six. Number six. See, there is mercy. Oh, there's mercy out there. I think he's done something one tonight. Once more, he's going to No, 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 no. I love that sign. We're under the mercies of God. We're under his mercy. See, all we got to do is get to the place that we understand that we're under his mercy. Amen. That's See, right. the devil wants you to think otherwise. That's That's the right, adversary best. is there to destroy. Oh, yes. But you know what? We got God on our side. Amen. Yes. We got God on our side. He knows how to open the doors that we don't see. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Listen to this song tonight whenever he sings this. Hallelujah. Yeah. 
church. I know your family yeah. here in this haven will say, no, 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 no. You see, it was under my ministry that they came to yes. the church. Right. Amen. 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 That makes them special to me, yes. Sister yes. Ellen. Amen. It makes them special to me. But let me tell you something. The Almighty God, oh, yes. they're special to Him. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yeah, you you're going to face the devil. I'm sure I'm sure I can stand here right now and tell you that since you gave your heart to the Lord, the devil has put an obstacle in front of you. Oh, yeah. That sometime you might have said, I'd like to take a cub and work on somebody. But because his mercy had walked in, Amen. Yes. he stood and he oh, walked away. Jesus. See, that's how God works. That's how God works. Listen, people, let me tell you something tonight. Everybody in here, the night you just didn't happen to show up here. Oh, no, you didn't. You're here because God sent you here. That's right. Amen. You're right. here because God wants to move in your life. Yes. You're here because you belong Amen. to Him. Oh, You're yes. here because He loves you. That's right. And I want to see you back. Amen. Yes. 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 This morning after Sunday school, I called her. Mama Praise called her God. first, and she wouldn't listen to Mom. And I told her, I said, Granny, I said, I want you to come spend a couple of nights down here with us. I said, I want you to come to church tonight. And she started giving me excuses. Yeah, yeah shame on you. I said, you know what? I hung up. Well, we got done eating. And we didn't get out of Dawson before she called and she was ready to come. If she'd been five minutes later, she wouldn't have made it. I told yeah. Mama as we was walking down to her apartment to get her, I said, she won't admit it. I said, I bet part of the reason she's calling and saying she's ready, I said, it's because she knew I was upset. <laughs> because I asked her to come down and she wouldn't come. Yeah. But I knew she needed to be here today. Yeah. She hadn't told me I'd been upset. I'd been mad. Not as bad as I was, no. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. You know, I. That little back here on that back road. Many times he said, pray for my mom and daddy. Yes. Amen. Many a night I've heard him just stand up and say, pray for my mom and my daddy. But I request prayers. You know, just surely that I request prayers before down here. Yeah. She's about ready to kill herself. That ain't her good. kids die running her crazy. Well, mine's going to be crazy, but hers is really bad. She told me last two days she's going to have to get ready, ready to unskill herself. I sure you don't want to do that. I said, no forgiveness that you killed yourself. That's right. I said, no forgiveness, that. Yes. And I said, don't let this 